In this lesson, we'll use WealthLab Strategy Builder to create a trading strategy, which is a set of fixed rules used to enter and exit positions. Let's get started by opening the Strategy Builder by clicking on the wizard's New Strategy from Rules. This action launches a strategy window, but the code editor is replaced by the Rules view. Here we can program strategies without ever seeing a line of code. In the Rules view, you'll find a tab with Entry and Exit Rules and another tab with conditions for those entries and exits. There's a lot to talk about, but let's concentrate on creating our first market order trading strategy. To start, I'll drag a buy at market rule to the pane on the right, and then place a sell at market rule above it. It's recommended to pair entries and exits this way. This is already a complete but not very interesting strategy that simply buys on one bar, sells on the next, and then buys and so on. To make it worthwhile, we need to add some conditions. The most popular indicators like MACD, moving averages, and RSI have their own set of conditions, but you can reference any indicator in the library using the general indicator set. Keeping this basic, I'll drag an RSI oversold condition and drop it on the buy at market rule. In the parameters pane below, you can change the condition's properties. Next, I'll drag an RSI overbought condition and drop it on the sell at market rule. Notice that this is a different RSI indicator with separate properties, so if you want the same RSI period used in the buy rule, you need to make it the same. The strategy will execute on the symbol or data set selected in the data tree. Click the Trades view to see individual trade results. Double-clicking a trade will center that trade's entry in the chart view. With the aid of the crosshair and a data window, we can verify that trades occur on the bar after the RSI crosses over 35, the oversold level. Likewise, positions are sold when RSI crosses above 68, which we assign to the overbought level. Now let's see how to add a couple more conditions to the strategy. Clicking back to the Rules tab, let's add the condition that price must be above the 100-day moving average to buy. And for the exit, let's add a rule to sell after five bars. However, in this case, we're going to make this an OR condition by separating the exit conditions with an OR divider. This means that either condition is sufficient to trigger an exit. Without an OR divider, stacked conditions are ANDed implicitly. In other words, both must be true at the same time to trigger a trade. When we run this modified strategy on Apple, by inspecting trades, we'll find that the closing price was above the 100-day moving average at the same time the RSI condition triggered, and that in the case that we see here, the exit was triggered by the time-based rule and not the RSI overbought condition. Now imagine that you wish to trade multiple positions of the same stock if the entry condition triggers more than once before the exit condition. To do that, simply select the Multiple Open Positions Allowed Position Management option. And to finish this introduction to the Strategy Builder, save your rules-based strategy in order to recall it and continue modifying it in the Strategy Builder. Continue to the next segment to learn about more features of the Strategy Builder. Thanks for coming.